Howdy y'all, my name is Price and I'm coming at you with a brand new game called McDroid. This is one that just came out on Steam, you know, early access and all that stuff. Uh, and it's a pretty cool little tower defense-like um, meets action-y kind of game. I think the closest game I can think of that this game reminds me of is um, Dungeon Defenders. But we're gonna go ahead and jump in. I've played a little bit of it, and um, since this is just kind of a first look video, I wanted to get past the more tutorial-y bits because, you know, in games like this, you often have those very tutorialized, um, you know, first few stages. So that's pretty much what this whole area over here is. This is our world map, by the way. We pick our levels here. It's pretty awesome. Um, so you can see we play this awesome little robot guy. It looks like uh, kind of like a Wally -E, um, meets, you know, some kind of a spider looking kind of deal. Pretty awesome. Short circuit kind of deal going on. Very cute little guy. And um, I guess the kind of gist of the story so far is that we've kind of crash landed on this planet and it's all messed up and it's our goal to try and kind of clean it up a little bit. There's these little monster guys, these little thing I'm running over, um, who, you know, were through varying levels of increasing difficulty in your very tower defense-y kind of fashion. Um, you continue to get more different towers and, you know, more enemies will fight you and all that kind of stuff. So through that progression, we're continuing to move forward. And I got to this level and I feel like this one felt like a good one to start with here, where it's a good combination of we've gotten well into the game enough to understand the basics, but where it's starting to get to feel more like it's a um, moving forward, like it's its own thing rather than being tutorialized. So uh, with that, let's jump into our first level, the Magma Quarry. And as you can see, I actually have already completed this level, so that's why there's the three stars on there. But um, I wanted to, you know, make sure to test stuff out before showing it to you guys. And if you guys really like, you know, this quick little look at this game, then let me know in the comments and everything like that, and I can do a full series, you know, run through of this. Oh, let's listen to these guys talk. <laughs> That's the evil planet, or like the evil whatever is messing with the planet, talking there, saying, not me. Such jerks. Okay, so you see what we have here. Yes, we have this flower heart, and you'll see that my little robot guy, he started to repair this thing, and then now it's fixed. Uh, and so that's this thing they're calling the heart. And what you see there, I just planted these two little things by pressing Y. Uh, I am using the Xbox controller on my PC, by the way. Um, let's see, planet's hearts can only be healed by blissing the ground beneath them. Carry a bliss engine or plant some fertilizer close by. Okay. So I planted these things and that's gonna start creating strawberries. And this thing here actually creates bliss as well. Um, and I actually had to repair this by putting this thing next to it. So you guys didn't get to see that, but I'll show you one towards the end of this level. But so what you see is I picked up a couple diamonds there and this, yep, I just picked up a strawberry from there. It takes time for those things to grow. You pick them up, you bring them back to your ship and that's kind of your currency. That's how you can buy things. And so now I can buy one of several items or let's see, I can buy the, um, just another one of these guys, one of the plant things. Um, but if I get a few more strawberries, which if I can bring this over here, that'll make that one a little, yield a little faster. Uh, put those down, and now I can buy some more stuff. So I'm gonna buy a welder, which is essentially a laser. And I'll put that guy down there. And so you see how this works tower defense wise is you have these little um, boxes that you can put towers in. And you can see that there are more behind this wall. And uh, we have six waves of enemies we're going to have to kill in this level, but I haven't triggered them yet. So you see that in the upper middle there. Um, and I think it's once I break down this wall is when that triggers. And so I'm going to build up a little bit of resources and whatnot in order to, you know, kind of be ready for that. The first time I played this map, man, I got myself annihilated. And I'm going to just hold this plant above my head so that both of these are going faster. Because as you can see, this bliss stuff that's spreading on the ground, what it does is it actually makes things grow faster it makes your lasers do more damage. Essentially what we want to do is spread bliss everywhere. Um, so, uh, now that I have a few more strawberries, I want to grab this guy. And, oh, I don't have enough. There, now I have enough. Uh, I can upgrade this laser. So this was one of the first um, extra turrets you got was the ability, the ability to upgrade this welder. So, I will upgrade it. And now it takes a little bit of time. And now I've got a new one. So I can pop that down. In any of your turrets, you can always pick back up, take somewhere else, and then put down into a new spot. So they're very mobile. And if they're on your back, they'll still do whatever it is that they do. And if I have this uh, laser on me, I can actually choose to fire it. And if there are any other lasers near me, they will follow me firing it. So that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so you can bring that kind of stuff along with you, be a little more um, powerful in that way. So I'm going to just do a little bit more building up of stuff. And... Um, I think what I'd like to do is there's an armor upgrade that I can get. And then maybe we'll move forward from there. So yeah, let's get the armor upgrade. 
Boom. And uh, then we move forward. So it's a pretty cool little game. It takes a little bit of getting used to. Oh, the wave is coming. All right, it has been triggered already. You can see the little circular thing that's counting down up there. So uh, yeah, you definitely have to be on the move. So let's take this with us. So you see this lava here, very dangerous. But if we bring this along with us, it actually starts to recede. And so I want to repair this guy because if I give him enough, then he will actually start to produce bliss on his own. Come on. Come on. We take some time. I should go back and get that laser, actually. Uh, I don't want to cross the lava. Oh, they're going to break down that wall soon. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. It's okay. It's okay. If I can bring the laser to the front, we'll be okay. So yeah, they've made it through. That guy's producing bliss, though. We got some diamonds out of that. Wow, diamonds are so great. Alright, since they're already on the move, I'm going to skip this. These guys say, great job, and all that kind of stuff. And then that's the planet making creepy noises. Um, but I need to get stuff moving, so I can't really listen to them right there. But So we're trying to essentially repair the broken planet, is what's going on. Um, all right, so now you see my laser is actually automatically targeting these guys, which is awesome. And if I'm standing on the bliss, I do double damage. Totally cool. Yeah. All right, auto target. Take him down. Okay, so we're going to put that guy there. And next thing we want to do, so we've got that guy there, so we're producing way more of these strawberries, and I'm actually planting more into those extra slots. And what I want to do is actually turn these in and make a whole bunch more of the lasers, Laser the welders beam. as they are. I take a little bit of damage when I run over that stuff, but it's much more worth it to have the lasers um, at the moment now because these guys really can get out of hand pretty quickly. And that's what I've been noticing about this game is that if you're not on top of things early on, then um, you can really find yourself behind the eight ball, as it were. All right, let's get another level one welder. And then I think what we'll do is we'll start working on... Oh, lots of diamonds. Diamonds are great. Uh, I think I, I was briefly mentioning this for a second, but essentially what diamonds do is... Um, oh, he's just outside the range. That sucks. Um, diamonds are your currency for upgrades and things like that outside, like between maps. Uh, and so that can be really useful. Let's drop all that stuff off. Yeah, all things you have to bring over there. I actually can upgrade my armor again, but I think it's probably wiser for me to upgrade... Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Whew, he's going to explode into a bunch of other ones. Yep. Okay. I want to pick you up and repair okay. you. So I'm standing next to this guy, so I'm auto-repairing, which is wonderful. That little guy over there is being a jerk. But come on. All right. Switch you out. Pop you down there. And I need to go turn in some more... Uh... Oh, no! My base is getting attacked. So one of the, a couple of them got through. So this is why it is important to have uh, lasers everywhere. Put that guy down. How much more do I have? I can, uh, I'll actually pick him up and upgrade him. Once you get used to this, it gets a little bit faster. But as you can see, there's a lot of stuff to be micromanaging. Apparently there is co-op in this game. I did not know that when I first started playing it. So uh, I might be trying to get Rick or Jazz or somebody in on this with me if... Uh, if we can manage to coordinate that. Um, because obviously co-op is what we do. All right, let's drop off all this stuff. And I know what I need to do is there's actually some other stuff to pick up in this level. Okay, let's go ahead and if I can upgrade this last guy. I'm gonna feel a lot better about this zone. All right, yeah, I'm feeling good about my guns. They're doing major damage. The first time I played this map, it was like I still hadn't gotten to this flower by the time wave four had started. All right, I want to see what's over here. Yeah, okay. Oh. All right, so that's the thing that sucks. He activated strawberry DRM, which locks down all of my planting stuff. All right, so see, I got this little box. This actually puts one anywhere, not just on one of the little um, turret slots. I can put down this tree. And what you can see is... That put bliss here, and that's actually causing um, this little guy here to grow, and that'll produce bliss throughout here. So it's pretty useful. I'm not going to be getting any more strawberries, so I might just want to bring... Well, actually, let's bring one of those, because that guy's getting double. Let's bring him with me. And I'm going to go stand here. I got a little bit from that. I'll see how much damage I can do from up here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. 
It's pretty cool though, how you can auto target and whatnot, so I can just focus on protecting myself. But the longer I can keep them over here, the better off I am. Um, yeah, for sure. Oh. Now those guys can do a pretty significant amount of damage to you, and you can see they're actually hurting the tree, but I can actually repair the tree as long as I'm close to it. So I want to uh, definitely do that. Okay, y'all, come on. Oh no, 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 the tree! Repair the tree, repair it. Oh man, they do so much damage. Oh man. Come on, come on. Come on. Can I pull ya? Oh, that one guy's stuck up there. I'll, uh, I'll deal with him later. These guys. I'll pull them back to this way. And I'm actually gonna drop that one off there. Because I grabbed a few more, uh, strawberries and things, so I would like to bring those in. Do I have enough for anything? Ah, yeah, cool. I can actually upgrade my, uh, robot one more time. And, um, it does behoove you to really, like, kind of min-max, try and get as much stuff as you can before the level's over, like, not just like, oh, yeah, I'm winning, so I might as well stop, um, because there are actually challenge versions of every map. Hey, hey, you stay back this way. You stay back this way. Okay. Yeah, these guys like to make a dash for the uh, exit, so I try and pull them in if I can. Yeah. Um, that's what I was saying is um, there are challenge maps, and the challenge maps... Ooh, repair, repair, repair. Um, the challenge maps actually like kind of pick up where you left off. So the better off you were when you ended the map, the better off you're going to be when you start the challenge map. Uh, and so you want to really try and get as much done as you can uh, in each level, as it were. Okay. Still repairing. There's two monsters left. Did that one guy get pulled? He must have. Oh, he killed the tree. That's why. That's too bad. Oh, well, but the other thing is planted, and that means it's permanent, uh, from what I understand. So... Cool, cool. Is that it? That's it. We did it. All right. And that was a level. Not bad, right? Pretty cool little game. The art style, I have to say, I freaking love. The music is wonderful. This little story thing is really silly. She sounds happy to see us, I think. The planet is happy to see you guys, I promise. <laughs> I love that voice. Planet's a little creepy. A little creepy. Alright, Happy Valley. Woohoo!